Hello, all. Uh, good evening and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, happy Diwali, first of all, to all the viewers. Uh, so I'm making this session on this auspicious Diwali day. Uh, so uh, many a times are uh, many people uh, who want to enter into IT, uh, you know, like uh, as per my experience, like those they are good technical being, uh, they were failing in the aptitude test. They were failing to face aptitude test. And uh, this is the reason why I wanted to give you know, aptitude uh, training those who want to pursue IT career. Right? So before starting the aptitude concepts, guys, so let me show you what all companies conduct aptitude test. So I just searched which software con companies conduct aptitude test for you. I know as per my, uh, like I know few companies which conduct aptitude test like uh, Global Logic, High Radius, Visa. So there are a number of companies which conduct this aptitude test as a first round. So for that matter, let me quickly show you a few of the screenshots, like few of the images that I captured along these uh, uh, along these lines. So these are the different types of psychometric tests. So starting with numerical reasoning, verbal reasoning, inductive reasoning, diagrammatic reasoning logical reasoning and error checking, right? So there are different types of aptitude as, as aptitude test as you can see here. And uh, just few more images like which illustrate this. These are the different types of aptitude test. One more image on this verbal, numerical, abstract, spatial reasoning, mechanical reasoning and all this data checking, fault diagnosis and all this, right? So I see like uh, this is the general recruitment process uh, that any software company follows. So we'll have a written test first of all. So in the written test, like it consists of questions to check our analytical and reasoning skills, right? And uh, generally it consists of three sections which uh, include like quantitative aptitude test, verbal ability test, logical reasoning ability test and so on. So once the, so this is the first and foremost round in most of the companies interview select interviews uh, most of the companies uh, recruitment process and followed by many many companies particularly for freshers more of freshers however so there are a lot of companies which conduct aptitude test for even experienced case like visa uh, global logic high radius uh, to name a few companies that i can recollect at the moment right there are a lot of other companies there are hundreds of other companies which conduct uh, aptitude test as part of their recruitment process so this after first round, of, once the candidate clears the first round, written test on the aptitude, then there will be coding or technical quiz. If, he, if the candidate is attending for a you know, developer role, so we will have coding. Or else if he is looking for any other roles like uh, software testing or something, right? we will have technical round quiz, etc. One more technical round can be uh, like there will be one more technical round and then it fol followed by manager round and HR round. So this is the general recruitment process that most of the companies are following. Now, so I see like, uh, even when I am interviewing candidates, uh, I observed that like uh, many people like struggle to answer simple aptitude questions, simple, very simple percentage questions or simple aptitude questions, which is quite uh, surprising to me, right? Now, so to bridge this gap, right? So to bridge this gap, right so as per the industry requirement so we thought of you know like uh, starting this aptitude test our reasoning skills training from mgmit training so before this uh, before starting into this right right so these are the these are the concepts that i am going to cover as part of this uh, we initially start with aptitude and reasoning skills and we were planning to conduct you know the rest of the concepts whatever i have listed down here so before starting the session, so I'd like to I would like to give a brief introduction about myself. I am an MCA graduate with 15 plus years of experience, IT experience in performance testing and engineering. I do have like few five plus years of training experience in software testing. I am having experience in corporate trainings, online trainings, classroom trainings. I have successfully trained and placed 200 plus students in both the product based and service based companies from 2019 to 2022, particularly in performance testing. So we are proud to say that we are giving training and placement without doing any proxy and backdoor. And these are my certifications, uh, JMetro Pro certification, Splunk, I'm Splunk uh, Certified Software Engineer and Dynatrice Associate, and ISTQB Foundation Level and ISTQB Performance System, right? So this is briefly about myself. 
now let me give a like a, a preface or i need to i uh, i want to you know express my gratitude to my parents and family for their extended support while i am giving these trainings right and i would also like to mention like uh, uh, sridhar kumuru cc vijayawada who is the director of cc vijayawada my mentor and trainer in my iset 2001 coaching and the, he is the like uh, you know i learned lot from you know sridhar sir so in just 20 days of uh, uh, iset training in uh, during the year 2020 2001 and i got state 1846 rank with just 20 days of training 20 days of you know at this reason right and uh, i would also like to thank uh, my aplabs and all my pcs colleagues aplabs is for their support during my uh, almost like six plus years of stint with aplabs aplabs you might have heard is uh, one of the world largest independent software testing company first world's largest independent software testing company for that matter and my mentors colleagues and managers in my professional career uh, srinivas reddy my friend guru and mentor for communication skills and uh, instilling confidence in myself so unfortunate i i lose contact with him so next i would like to express my gratitude to prasad uh, elesurapu sri prasad elus elesurapu my mentor manager in aplabs unfortunately he is not with us now and i i would also like to express my gratitude sincere thanks to mahesh rakesh patlo ram uday and jiyada and my other colleagues and mentors in aplabs and Sivaram, Krishna Mohan and all this. So there is a big list, guys, actually. Uh, sorry for that. So Rao, sir, Vijay, Nagesh, Srinivas, and my other managers in Tech Mahindra, Vinod, Navin, and other Tech M teammates, Raj, Jain, Sai, and other teammates in G, Amar, Krishnagant, Sagar, Sunil, Kesav, and my other colleagues in Bank of America. And Rupesh Gar, he's my mentor and manager in Bank of America. He's the CEO and principal architect of Frogel Testing. And all my mentors, colleagues in InnoMinds, SAP Labs, all my previous batch trainings, all my competitors who are giving healthy competition, by the way, only who are giving healthy competition. All right. So having said that, so let me start uh, this attitude uh, course contents. So what all I am going to cover? So I'll start with simple percentage questions. And this is some simple interest, some questions on simple interest, compound interest, profit and loss ratios, time and distance, and many more. List is not limited to this. So uh, there's a big list uh, uh, which I am going to cover in the. Uh, so I am planning to make a video on every weekend uh, on each of these concepts, and I would like to upload to my YouTube channel. So please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to receive this free aptitude training sessions. So before that, before starting our first concept, so let me give. Uh, let me for those who got this channel directly, or, or if someone who want to reach out my channel later on. So here is my YouTube channel, Software Performance Testing Real-Time Training. So let me let me quickly show you how can you reach my YouTube channel. In case you, you got this video directly. So go to YouTube and search for Software Performance, Software Performance Testing, Testing Real-Time Training. And here is my YouTube channel with this logo, as you can see here. All right. So please save my contact number as you can see over here. All of this. So having said that, so let me start with simple percentage questions. Okay. I'll start with simple percentage questions like this. And here. So if you get 15 marks out of 25 marks in an exam, then what is your percentage? Very simple questions, guys. Surprisingly, so those who are having like three to four years experience or five to six years experience also, you know, they could not answer this comfortably. Surprising, it's very surprising to you know an interior, any interior, right? So if you get 15 out of 25 marks in an exam, what is your percentage? Right? So it's as simple as that. So there are many ways to uh, many ways to calculate this, right? So this first simple percentage question. So there are many ways to cal to calculate this. You don't require actually any you know pen and paper or a calculator. So if you get fifteen out of twenty five marks in an exam, what is your percentage? 
so we all know that or we all learned that for percentage means nothing but per 100 how many marks are how many how much you know uh, what is the gain per 100 rupees if it is gain and loss percentage okay so how much it is per 100 percent the word percent if you understand this percentage right so percent means per 100 rupees or per 100 right so 15 out of 25 marks in an exam so they you can calculate in multiple ways uh, so let me go to notepad so simple way to calculate this percentage question is so let me uh, write that question over here Right. So simple way to do this is for 25 marks, we get 15 marks. Okay. So as per this example, so for 25 marks, we got 15 marks in an exam. Now, what is percentage means like 100 marks for 100 marks? How much is this? Right. Or else you can you can take like this 15 by so you can calculate that like this 15 by 25. Right. Let me put it in a parenthesis into 100. So this is one more easy way to calculate this, right? So let's come to here. So so 25 goes off in 100 four times. So 15 into 4 is nothing but this is 60. It's about 60 percent, right? So or else if you take this way, so 100 into so 100 into 15, both comes out to be same, guys. Right? Both are, you know like uh, similar ways of uh, calculating this a simple percent. Right, so 100 into 100 into so 100 into 25 by uh, sorry 100 into 15 by 25. Right, so this is how we calculate this for 25 15. If for 25 marks we got 15 marks, what how much how many marks we got for uh, 100? Right. So this is one simple way to calculate this. So this comes out to be, so if 25 again goes four times in 100, four into 15 is 60 percent, right? So this is a simple question, so, so which you know, which came, uh, but we, we were uh, surprised a lot, like when we, when you know, some, um, those freshers or you know, even guys who are even having four to five years of experience couldn't answer them couldn't answer these simple questions. So thanks, thanks to all of those for who gave me an opportunity to start this uh, aptitude prime. All right, so uh, the list goes on. So you can expect similar questions like this. If you get 35 out of 50 marks in an exam, what is your percentage? If you get 30 out of 40 marks in an exam, what is your percentage? So let's quickly calculate this case. So 35 out of 50 marks in an exam. So we can go ahead with the same process that we followed, I explained just now. So let me copy that question to here. Uh, let me copy both of this. All right. So first we'll take the first one. First one in the second question. So for 50, 50 marks, you got 35. Then what is your you know, percentage? Means for 100 marks, how many marks you got for 100, for every 100, right? Again, this is as simple as that. So 100 into, 100 into 35 by 50, so which comes out to be so 50 goes in 102 times 2 into 35, that is 70. As simple as that. So, again, here, so for 40 marks, if you get 30, so for 100 marks, like, oh, what is your percentage? Or for 100 marks, how many marks you got per 100? So, again, so 100 into 30. So this comes out to be so 440 goes two and a half times in 100. So two and a half into 30 is nothing but 75 as simple as that. So these these are one of the you know numerical reasoning questions that you can expect in any aptitude test. So thanks for watching. So I'll uh, we will you know like. Uh, Come up again with another question, another you know concept that is simple person. Uh, sorry.
profit and last questions like this okay so thanks for watching like share subscribe to my youtube channel have a nice day by the way so i was curious to see like what all companies conduct aptitude test uh, so i just google search like this you can also do this right so as you can see here which companies state aptitude test for placement you can see here Mass recruiter companies such as TCS, Vipro, Capgemini, Cognizant, and Infosys conduct their screening test, that is aptitude test. And if you know, if you have some information, so TCS and Infosys alone, uh, and I, I think Cognizant also. So they can they recruited one 1.8 lakhs freshers in the last financial year. So that the time the same trend goes, and you know, like this year we have. Uh, like uh, there are news that uh, like uh, they have a requirement of around two lakh freshers in that this financial year, twenty twenty two to twenty twenty three. So uh, you cannot avoid this is something that you know freshers cannot avoid particularly. There is no other option. So most of the companies conduct this aptitude test. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel uh, to learn these aptitude questions. Guys. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Happy Diwali one more time. If you haven't subscribed yet, so please go to YouTube. Uh, haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, so please go to YouTube and search for software performance testing real time training. And uh, you see this logo and my demo. You know, few demo sessions are uploaded here. So please uh, like, share, subscribe, and refer your friends or relatives. So we are providing real time project training and placement in manual testing and performance testing as of now. So performance testing, particularly performance testing. So we are providing training on load energy meter, blaze meter, and data trace. So if if you have have any friends or relatives who are having career gap also, please do refer them. We have a referral amount of one thousand to five thousand for every successful referral. Thank you. And if please subscribe and turn on all notifications, guys. If you want to continue receiving these uh, free training sessions. Turn on all notifications once you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Signing off, uh, Pavan uh, and GMIT training.